Hello again, boys and girls. Let's do our daily message. Hello, everyone. Oh, look at that, an exclamation point. Do you remember what the exclamation point means? It means that we're sort of shouting or excited because I want to say, hello, everyone. Today is, do you remember from the calendar activity? Today is, how's that TH sound? That goes Thursday, that's right. So we're gonna write Thursday in here. I'm gonna start with my T, which is always a capital because it's the name of the day. So we use a capital for that. And then the H, U, R, S. It looks like part of my day got erased. Remember, the last three letters of every word is the same. Thursday, day, D-A-Y, that spells day. Good job, boys and girls. The weather is, well, I think it's still pretty cold. So we'll put cold, remember? Cold starts with that sound. Sounds like a K, but also a C makes it. Remember, C is that copycat letter. So here we go. Cold. Cold. Today is cold. And the period at the end to show that I've done that idea and I've finished my sentence. What is your favorite book? We're going to read some books today, boys and girls. Some of the ones that we've been reading uh, in our class, the Piggy and Elephant books. And I know you guys really enjoyed those. So I want to know what your favorite book is. Great job this week. You've been doing a great job, boys and girls. It's been a, a good start to learning at home, and I'm hoping you're all enjoying it. From Mrs. Robinson. And look, who else? Oh, there's Piggy. And while we're here, I was going to show you quickly. We're going to read a Piggy and Elephant book today for story time, just like we did at school. These are some of the favorites that we had. So maybe you can tell me later which character out of those Piggy and Elephant books is your favorite, or from another story if you like something better. And that would be okay too. Uh, I forget what else I was going to say about Piggy and Elephant, but that could be lots of fun. And here we have, I forgot this during calendar time, boys and girls, so I thought I'd maybe squeeze it in now. I wanted to count by twos to ten. When you count by twos, boys and girls, that means you skip a number. It's also called skip counting. So you can start and then you count, you skip one and you count one. So it goes two, skip it, four, skip it, six, skip it, eight, skip it, ten. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten. That would be counting by twos, starting at zero. Good job, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to all the other activities today.